Welcome everyone. Uh, we are so pleased to have you here today in Axe Library on the campus of Pittsburgh State University as uh, we celebrate uh, what we would term the day as hopefulness. We, we believe that today is the day where things start to shift back to uh, a focus on investment in higher education as vital to the state's economy and to the growth of this great state. Uh, the first person I would like to introduce today is the Chief Executive Officer of the Kansas Board of Regents, Blake Flanders. Well, thank you, Sean, and, and it is great to be at uh, Pittsburgh State uh, University today. Uh, we were delayed just slightly because there was actually a fox on the runway, but they ran that <laughs> off, so um, that, you can't make that up. So, uh, but thank you. I, I, I do want to, uh, first of all, uh, thank the governor uh, for his leadership. Uh, I think this is a great first step uh, because, because here's what we know. Uh, higher education really is the best hope for Kansas families. Uh, if you look out into our changing economy, about 71% of the jobs are going to require some education beyond high school. Uh, so this support is critical uh, for us to keep tuition affordable for Kansas families. Uh, and that's what we want. We want to expand this opportunity uh, for all those uh, who can take advantage of it. So uh, again, uh, thank you, uh, Pittsburgh State University, for hosting today, and, and thank you, Governor Collier. Thank you very much, Dr. Flanders. I uh, appreciate those words, and, and I also appreciate the fact that we have a governor who uh, I, I had the distinct honor to represent Pittsburgh State University at his inauguration, and he spoke at that inauguration about listening, about a shift in tone, and about servant leadership. And I think uh, at 102 days into the job, I think he just celebrated his 100th day a couple of days ago, I think that this bill is emblematic of exactly that, and that is the listening and the shift in tone. And, and I think that what we have seen over seven years of getting to know Dr. Collier is that he is no stranger to places like Pittsburgh State. He's no stranger to places like Pittsburgh because he grew up in a town not that dissimilar, uh, Hayes, Kansas, America. Uh, and I think he realizes that both Pittsburgh and Hayes and Pittsburgh State and the University in Northwest Arkansas, or Northwest <laughs> Kansas as well, Arkansas. I know, I'm sorry, <laughs> Northwest, well I was trying not to say the actual name, I'm sorry, but uh, uh, in Northwest Kansas that those are the best hope for so many people in Kansas, in rural America, to make great uh, for their entire lives, to have uh, ladder, rungs on that ladder of opportunity, and he recognizes that, he believes in that, and we're so pleased that he would share today and share this very special moment and this step toward uh, increased investment in higher education with us and increased opportunity. So we appreciate that. I'd also be remiss, uh, I saw Steve Sloan in the crowd somewhere. I, I better say that we also included in this bill, and thanks to the governor and the legislative leadership for including uh, funds for continued expansion of Highway 69 because we all know how important that is. So we want to thank uh, that for that as well. And so, uh, another individual who knows what it's like to grow up in rural Kansas, where uh, in small town Kansas, where what is great about America still is great about America, and that's our ninth president, Dr. Steve Scott. All right, good morning. I feel like I'm talking to myself because Steve Scott's also here. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting, interesting moment. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, <coughs> oh, <Lee. coughs> Excuse me. We'll edit that out. <laughs> uh, but good morning, everybody. Welcome to Axe Library. Really, really pleased that you're here, uh, Governor. Certainly glad that you're here. And, and I think you'll, you know this, but uh, we love to have visitors in Southeast Kansas. We really do. It's, uh, we're so proud of what we do and the relationships we have. See great folks in the city who are with us today. And, and that's what makes this work. But, but, you know, I shouldn't use the word visitor. Because as a governor, you really are a gorilla as well, and you spend a lot of time in southeast Kansas, and I appreciate that. So I hope you do feel at home here, because we, we, we want you to feel that way, absolutely. So welcome back, is what I would say. Uh, before I introduce the governor, I'd just like to make a couple of comments about this particular bill that he will be signing. And I'd also like to say thanks to Sean for his work in, in lobbying, Riley Scott for his work in, I guess it's called government relations. Uh, instead of lobbying, but their work in advocacy, that's what it's all about. And Dr. Flanders, appreciate the board's leadership in this arena as well. They've been strong advocates for higher education. I know you have been, 
And uh, I'm sure as, as we are relieved as commencement's over, you're relieved when the, the session is over. I'm just guessing, but, I'm, but, uh, but you've worked hard in representing the uh, system of higher education in the state of Kansas, the students, the faculty, and staff, and I do ap deeply appreciate your work, and Sean, your work, and also Riley Scott. But this, uh, this bill really does represent a step forward, and that's how, that's how Sean rightly characterized it. Uh, you know, in FY17, the system took a $24 million cut and that amounted to about a million dollar reduction in the funding for Pittsburgh State University. And that's a significant amount of money in our budget. There's just no doubt about it. This bill represents a partial restoration of that cut. And you may remember that the Kansas Board of Regents made their number one priority for this year the restoration of the, of the reduction from FY17. So it's really important that we made progress in that regard. Certainly appreciate the, uh, the leadership we saw in the Senate, also within the House. Uh, and the governor's office, because if those three entities didn't agree that this was going to happen, it was not going to happen. So, Governor, really do appreciate that you are part of that group that made sure there was a restoration uh, that occurred. We look forward to, in the, in the coming sessions, of working alongside you to help continue to make the case for higher education, just as Dr. Flanders did just a few minutes ago, about the importance to the Kansas economy, to the quality of life, to the economies in, in these regions that we serve, but even beyond that throughout the entire state of Kansas. Now, I do want to bring something up that's something, it's, it is sensitive, but I know you'll relate to this. Neither the governor's office nor the region's employees were included in this year's efforts to increase salaries for state workers. I know you have highly qualified and talented individuals within your office, and I know they must feel left out. That's how some of our folks feel on this campus as well. So again, I look forward to working alongside you to address that, to make sure that Kansas has the best and the brightest working for us, working on your staff, working on the campuses of our region's institution, and certainly today talking about the well-deserving folks here at Pittsburgh State University. I also recognize there are many, many competing needs. And, and I know you've, you already know this, you cannot come to this community without hearing about Highway 69. It's just not possible. So yesterday I was with Ken Brock, and he was concerned about not being able to speak to you about Highway 69. <laughs> so Ken asked me just to remind you, and you know, he sounded just like me because he said, we've got six miles underway, more work to do. Partial restoration, more work to do. I mean, it's, it's just such a similar message, but we recognize there are competing interests. So we understand that and we want to be a part of the solution. We want to work with you. And finally, the reason that we chose to be in this space today was not accidental. This a library is at the heart of the academic purpose and mission of the institution. So that's why we're here. We're also here for another reason, and that is because the Education Building Fund is incredibly important to us. Those are state dollars derived from a one mill levy across this, all the property in this state. And that's provided to the institutions across the region system, about $35 million a year or so. We receive about two and a half million dollars a year for us to renovate our classrooms and our library spaces. Can't use it on athletic facilities, presidents' homes, offices for faculty. There are restrictions. Those are appropriate restrictions. But we really feel like we've taken those dollars and invested them in this infrastructure to make it better, to make it suitable. And in this building, what's so extraordinary is we're really refurbishing and repurposing this space to meet the needs of a modern college student and really to be, to be a modern university library. So if we have time at the end, I'd love to see you go upstairs with us. Just, it'll just take a minute and you'll see what we did on the third floor and how we're beginning to transition this space. And we could not get that done without the support of the state of Kansas through the repair and rehabilitation dollars, as we call them, the R&R &R dollars that come out of the Education Building Fund. Essential to us and we're very appreciative that we have those dollars to work with. And our job at Pittsburgh State University is to drive value in every single dollar we spend. Doesn't matter where it comes from, we want to drive a lot of value into it. And I think you'll see that upstairs. So with that said, again, with appreciation to you, pleasure to have you back on campus, but let me present Governor Dr. Jeff Collier. Sean, I want to say thank you, uh, of course, and uh, I want to thank Blake for getting out of the airplane, chasing the fox away. 
Uh, now, that, now there is a there's some more backstory to it that actually the governor's plane has been down for a couple of months because it hit a bird. So now we're now we're looking out for foxes and deer and and other critters that might be flying around, but uh, uh, that's why we were late today. But uh, President Scott. Um, it is just an honor to be here at one of the great institutions of Kansas. And you know what Pittsburgh has done over the decades is truly monumental. Uh, and it has been transformative not only for this community and not only for a neighborhood, but really for the state. And has really made a future for a lot of kids uh, here. And we just want to thank you for all that Pittsburgh has done uh, over the years. Uh, and so I'm just very honored to be here uh, in order to sign the budget bill today. I can tell you um, that this was not an easy task. You know, in Kansas, we have some difficult choices to make. And we are. And we're doing it together. And I really believe that if we put our best foot forward if we make priorities and we work together, that we listen, that we work together, that by putting these priorities ahead, that we are all the better for it and that our future is very bright indeed. You know, the budget is very important. Uh, it deals with a lot of different needs across the state in which we have to balance them out. One of the highlights of the budget and the part that I want to focus on today is the educational component. You know, we value educational institutions, and in today's economy, when our unemployment rate is 3.4 percent and we have 50,000 open jobs, that means there are thousands of jobs that require higher skill sets. That mean that we have a future for our kids here in the state, and in order to fill those 21st century jobs, we need to succeed with your mission and it is critical for the long-term success of our state and it's critical for young people to stay in our state. And so I value education and all of us value education from pre-K through college and continuous learning that we're all part of in today's modern world. We believe that's very important on the university and the technical levels as well. And we want our kids to succeed and to excel and to create meaningful productive lives right here in Kansas. A few weeks ago, I signed a bill for K-12 funding uh, here in Kansas. I wanted a bill that would fund our K-12 schools, but could also show measurable outcomes and that that is meaningful all the way up through higher education. I want, some of the, I want the same for the money that is being provided in the budget today. We owe it our to our students to give them the best possible chance to succeed. And I believe that this is a very important step uh, for us. We want to find a way on how to keep tuition costs down and our skill sets up. The budget provides for a partial restoration of the 4% allotment, where approximately $15 million will be going to our four-year universities across Kansas. And over 600000 will be right here at Pittsburgh. And I think that's a very good step for us. Here at Pitt State, you have a very unique program that's teaching our future tech ed teachers. This is why this is so strategically important. This is vital to the success of our state that we have the teachers so that we can teach our kids and have the skills. And Pittsburgh State has been a truly a world-class leader in this. In the budget, we have also fully funded programs that offer free tuition to high school students that are involved in tech ed courses during their time in high school. So when you graduate from a Kansas high school, you can have a valuable certificate that leads you on to a better future here. And when you combine that with the opportunities of places like Pittsburgh, I think that is truly monumental. Those students will be gaining more than just a little bit of tuition help though. They're gaining the quality education that is so important. In addition to the funding that is provided here at Pitt State and to our other four-year uh, colleges and universities, we are also providing $3 million to our technical colleges across the state. This important investment is absolutely critical because it is right where the rubber hits the road. Those degree certificates are so important for future skills uh, that people can access right now and move our state forward right now. 
Another important provision in this is for a Kansas National Guard. Right now, we have over 8,000 Kansas National Guard men and women that serve us every day, that live in our community. And in fact, uh, just a few weeks ago, I deployed 800 of them to the Middle East, to places like Iraq and Syria. Those people are fighting on the lines for us, and most of them are people that are our neighbors. And their education is so important. And so in this budget is $1.8 million for tuition for our National Guardmen, Guardsmen and Guardwomen. Those people deserve our support. They are doing so much for us. And so I'm very honored that that'll happen here. That gives them the opportunity to come to Pittsburgh State, complete their degrees here, and to serve their community and serve our nation as well. Whether it's technical education or a four-year university, this budget is stressing how important education is to our future workforce and to the future economy of the great state of Kansas. I think this will really move the ball for us. And believe me, I believe there is no better place than Kansas. It is the heart of America. This is a place where you can truly be extraordinary. And that extraordinary starts right here at, Pitt at Pittsburgh State. So, Mr. President, thank you so much. Thank you to all of our guerrilla friends uh, who have made this possible and who do so much for our state. And we also love a Highway 69, too. <laughs> So with that, I believe we get to go do our official bill signing. Come on over. Yeah. Let's give as many, yeah, let's get folks up. We're gonna have a uh, President's Council. Yep. Uh, stand. Great. Am I in it? I'm sorry. Hey, Angela, come on, Angela. Come on. So, Steve, you remember when we were down, I was down here for a game with you, and then a few weeks ago again, you said, we need some more, we need this money, will you get it done? Uh, <laughs> you did say that. That's my job. That's my job. <laughs> and you told me what you were going to do with it, too. But you were talk, we were talking about what it meant for our students, what it meant for tuition, right. and how you move it forward. And today, we get to put that together. Right. So, that's a very important day. So. We are going to be signing Senate Bill 109 is the name of the bill, which is, is our overall budget bill. And so we are going to sign it. That's the date, 15th of May. Okay. And I'm going to sign with a couple of pins because I want to share them with you. Okay. And we are now legal. Yeah. President Scott, oh the signing pen, okay? <laughs> All right? You can write checks with that pen. <laughs> in Kansas. In Kansas. In Kansas. Sorry. You bet. Sean, you worked very hard. Oh, thank you very and much. And if you'll, if you'll you. distribute these to okay. the rest of the team. Okay. We, have, uh, we have some ceremonial uh, copies of the bill uh, to share uh, with you, and I'll let you distribute okay. those. But we are just so honored to, to be here today. And... Uh, uh, you know, I'm just very excited to be here. Oh, by the way, I didn't see you, Senator. Never? Good. <laughs> so, uh, um, anyway, thank you so much. And